how to use polygon and ethereum to buy nfts hi guys welcome back today i'm giving you a tutorial on how to use polygon and ethereum to buy nfts so let's get started first what you have to do is you can open up any of the nft marketplace i am using openc.io openc is the world's first and largest nft marketplace so what you have to do is you just have to go to OpenSea and now we can connect our wallet to our OpenSea to get started. And now when it comes to wallet, we will be using MetaMask. If you do not have a MetaMask, you just go to Google and search for MetaMask.io and it will open this up for you. And you just have to go to the MetaMask extension, add the extension to your Chrome and you will get your own wallet. Just set up a reasonable password and then you have a MetaMask wallet. So this is our MetaMask wallet right here. So the default blockchain that we get on MetaMask is Ethereum. So getting an Ethereum on your wallet is very easy. You don't have to do anything because it's the default blockchain that we have. So we already have Ethereum, but we do not have Polygon on our MetaMask. So before we go to our NFT marketplace, what we need to have is we need to have Polygon and Ethereum on our wallet and then it's really easy. So first of all, we have Ethereum. Now we have to add a polygon. So you just go to your networks right here and you will not see Matic here. I have already added it. That is why you're seeing it here. But okay, you know what? I'm going to remove it and show you how to add it. Okay. So to add a polygon network, click on add network and it will take you right here. So we have a network name, new RPC URL, chain ID, and this is the details that we have to add. Now, first of all, the network name for Polygon is Matic. Then we have RPC URL. So to get the URL, you will simply go to docs.polygon.technology or you can just go to your Google and search for Polygon Network and the first link probably will be docs.polygon.technology. And this is where you will get and here we have our, you know, RPC URL. So what you have to do is you just have to copy the link and paste it right here. Okay, perfect. So I have pasted my RPC URL. Moving on, we have chain ID for Polygon. So it's going to be 137. Uh, that's our network, Matic. So this is the chain ID. Currency symbol. Now for currency symbol, you have to enter Matic again. Perfect. And then we have block explorer URL. So it's going to be optional. You don't have to add it. I'm going to leave this option. So this is the detail that you will add. And feel free to pause the video and check out the details and fill them in. So once you're done, you can just click on save and your Matic network will be added to your MetaMask. So you can see now we have a Polygon network. So now my MetaMask has Ethereum as well as Matic. Keep in mind, we can switch between the networks very easily. Now it depends on you that what network you want to use because on OpenSea, as I showed you, this is an NFT marketplace, world's largest. It has Polygon NFTs available and Ethereum available as well. So buying them is going to be same. Once you've added the networks, I would suggest adding funds to your wallet to buy NFTs. So what you can do is we can also sell NFTs, of course, if you are a creator, uh, we require a crypto wallet. But now you know how to get a MetaMask and how to add a Polygon network. So we are done with the MetaMask. I'm going to move on to OpenSea now. So on OpenSea, we have to connect our wallet. So if you go to the wallet option right here, it will show you my wallet and you can see we can connect any kind of wallet to our OpenSea. We have MetaMask, Coinbase, Wallet Connect, Phantom and Glow. These are for Solana. Um, recently added, now we can trade in and buy and sell Solana NFTs as well. So we are using MetaMask. I'm going to select my MetaMask option from here. And there you go, my wallet will be connected. Now keep in mind, if you're connecting your wallet for the very first time, it will actually ask for your permission. I have already connected my wallet several times. That is why now it just connects. But if it's the first time, you will actually have to sign in and connect your wallet. But it's really easy. It will just open up your open your uh, MetaMask for you and you just have to sign. So you can see now my wallet has been connected to my OpenSea and now I'm good to go. So let's go ahead and buy some NFTs.
So for that, what I'm going to do is I can actually go to the stats and ranking and check out the top NFT collections available on OpenSea. You can see a lot of collections are going to be on Ethereum, but there are Polygon NFTs as well. So if I go to the Explore and let's actually check out all NFTs on OpenSea. Okay, so this is the open marketplace for OpenSea. And here I will be able to see my, you know, different NFTs. So you can see we have Ethereum. How do we know an NFT is Ethereum or Polygon? So let me show you the difference. You can see this NFT right here. This is Ethereum. You can just like go to this symbol and it says ETH. This one as well, Ethereum. But there are going to be some of the icons that are going to be purple. That's the color of Polygon. So if I click go right here, it says Ethereum on Polygon. So this NFT is available on Ethereum on Polygon as well. So I can buy this NFT on Polygon too. But the NFT that are not available on Polygon, you cannot buy them. You will buy them on Ethereum. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out one NFT on Ethereum. Let's go with this one and open it up. All right. So you can see uh, at the time of making this video, 0.08 Ethereum is $125. And this is actually a pretty good NFT and I can buy it for $125. And you can see uh, the end time is given. This is how you check out an NFT on OpenSea, right? Um, now, if I want to buy it, I will just click on buy now. Okay, you can see. Please switch to Ethereum network. So right now, if I go to my MetaMask, you can see it says Polygon. So it's saying switch to Ethereum. That's what I wanted to show you guys that if an NFT is available on Ethereum and your wallet has its main network, primary network as Polygon, then you won't be able to buy NFT on Ethereum. So you will have to switch to Ethereum first. So I'm going to switch to Ethereum now. Just click on switch and it will open up your MetaMask for you. And you can see I'm going to switch network. There it is. Now, if I click on buy now, it will open up the details for me in order to buy the NFT. So you can see uh, we have item which is going to be this. Creator fee is 5%. So it's going to be $126 in total. And then send to a different wallet. So we can actually add another wallet as well. If you're sending this NFT to someone else, you can enter their wallet address. So if you click on complete purchase, your NFT will be bought. You just have to sign in to your wallet and, you know, just confirm the checkout and that's it. So this is how you will be buying an Ethereum NFT. Now let's go and check out a Polygon NFT. So for that, what I'm going to do now is, as I showed you before, I will go to my wallet right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Matic now because I'm going to be working on a Polygon NFT. So I'm going to go to my browser again and this time I'm going to check out an NFT which is available on Polygon. So we have switched to a Polygon network and okay this NFT let's actually find a good nft to buy you can just explore keep in mind we can also you know you can also go ahead and filter your search from here according to quantities collection chain art and other things so we have these nfts what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just find a polygon one so you can see this nft is available on ethereum on polygon so i'm gonna open it up so here we have it on Polygon. You can see 0 0.0035 Polygon on Ethereum is $5.53 at the time of making this video. So I will click on buy now and I already have a Polygon network. So you can see this is going to be my total fee, uh, my total, you know, payment. And you can see I can click on complete purchase and I will be able to buy a Polygon NFT. So it's very easy to just switch networks on your MetaMask and buy NFTs on Polygon and on Ethereum. Make sure to add the funds to your, you know, wallet right here in order to buy. But in order to connect your wallet to your OpenSea, you don't require any funds. Even if it's zero, you can just go ahead and use OpenSea. But in order to buy and sell, you will require some of the funds in your wallet. But now we can enjoy buying and selling nfts on ethereum and polygon really easily and i hope that i was a big help to you guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to the youtube channel